Hi, we're Team NERD. NERD actually stands for Nearby Robotic Delivery Service, and we're an autonomous delivery robot company. So our main problem is called the last mile problem. The last mile problem describes the movement of goods from a final destination hub to its final destination, usually a consumer's house. So it's a 2.5, there's 25 billion packages being delivered on a yearly basis, and those all packages all deal with the last mile problem. In our case, we are targeting FAU and college campuses, which exhibit the last mile problem as well because they're a confined urban environment. Right now, we're specifically looking at food delivery, and as of right now, that's a $2.3 billion industry with just food delivery. So our robot is made to deliver things such as food and packages in landlocked environments, such as college campuses like FAU or business campuses where um, many of the buildings are not accessible to cars um, for food delivery and package delivery. So our robot is people friendly. It goes on the sidewalks and travels at about four miles per hour, thus not to endanger anyone and to um, go at a safe speed to walk around. Um, we can carry about three shopping bags or um, one package in our robot, um, anything below 20 pounds. Uh, we're able to detect and move around any stationary objects as well as people. So if there's um, a pole that's to keep cars off, we can navigate around that. We can also navigate with the floor of traffic um, of people on the sidewalks. Um, our robot is 95% autonomous. The reason we say 95% is because um, for safety reasons, we always have a human watching what the robot is doing um, just to make sure there are no incidents and to be able to prove that we can operate autonomously. So our advantage over other companies is many companies like Amazon or um, they're trying to do air delivery. So one problem with drone delivery is that the FAA currently has regulations where you cannot fly a drone out of your line of sight. Obviously, this is problematic for companies that want to do autonomous delivery because if you are out of sight of a drone operator, it's considered illegal and you would not be able to do it. Uh, we're an on-demand service, so you would open our app and just like Uber Eats or other companies, you would choose the restaurant you want to order from and you would um, pick whatever meal you want. The robot would then um, go to the restaurant, such as Wendy's or something, which we have on our campus, while the food is being prepared. Once the food is prepared, it would be loaded into the robot on the, in the delivery bay, and the restaurant would hit their side of the app, causing the robot to come to you at your exact location. So we're Team Nerd, and we'd like to take any questions you have. Um, so how does... How does it work if um, somebody tries to intercept with the robot? And like, does that ha is that is it protected in some way for the end customer to know that I'm the only one who's going to be able to open it? Yes, definitely. So um, our robot, there's no outside handles or anything. It's completely locked with um, solenoids. So on the app, there will be a button that you press on the app. The robot is connected through the cellular network. So once you um, hit open robot. It'll open once it's at your location. It also has uh, gyroscopic and accelerometer sensors so that if the robot feels that it's being picked up or shaken or anything, trying to get food out of it, it will want to alert us at the central delivery hub and it will also notify um, FAU Police Department. Uh, do you need somebody at the receiving end to take the packages out or is there a mechanism for delivering if, if somebody's not there? So currently, we, you do need somebody to take out their package or their food. Um, they can remotely open the door. Let, if they're not able to go get the package themselves, they can use the app to open it for someone else. Any licensing issues relative to the being out on the, on the road? So the only problem we have right now is with FAU specifically. So we're targeting specific campuses because campuses define the rules on their set grounds. So we found this out through our business advisor, and he's told us basically if FAU approves it, then they set the rules for it. So if they approve us being on the sidewalks in their roads, then nobody can stop us, and we don't have to go to outside sources. So are you building the robot, or is that something that's being built by someone else? We are building it from scratch. So we're not selling the robots directly. We are offering it as a service. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye.